the uh, the first match is the MJF match, and and I'm really interested on what you thought because a lot of people whose opinions I, I think matter, who who I value, they thought this match would have been similar to how it would have gone, even if there was no issue here with with MJF. What did you think about that? Yeah, I think if this was just the end of a feud, or if it was writing MJ off of TV for a while or permanently, it was perfect. This is what you do. I mean, it made Wardlow look like a huge star. And um, you know, MJF, he was taking those power bombs pretty ugly, Ooh. I thought, man. I don't One know. of them it, was like on the the butt bone or something. Yeah, I was like, oh, God. Uh, I was like, maybe he is just... A, I was looking at that. I was like, maybe he is taking a few months <laughs> off at least. But yeah, I, I thought it was absolutely perfect, no matter what the actual dynamic is, and we don't know. But it was reported, um, you know, just getting back to the MJF discussion that dominated Sunday uh, in our neck of the woods. It was reported, what, like a half hour before showtime, maybe even an hour, that this was going on first, and it was always supposed to go on first. So That's what they after, said. Yeah, after all that time, to your point, it went I, probably exactly how it was advertised to be. I, I, th 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 I, this is exactly how, like, if MJF was not upset with anything, this is probably how you do the match anyway. So I was of the opinion. Now, I don't remember what show it was on. I'm I'm really overexposed on this network. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm with Dave on Friday, and then I do this show with Andrew, and then I, I do my show on Wednesday night with John LaRocca. So I, can't, I don't remember which, which place I said, but it may, may have been all three for all I know. But I said, I'm so, I love this storyline so much that the match in of itself is sort of secondary to me. I was just more interested to see where they go because the, the match is, is sort of a, a, an end to a means to an end. And, you know, I didn't think it was going to be a five-star classic in any way because it's so much part of a storyline. I was just so intrigued where the storyline is going. So that being said, the one thing I wanted, I wanted so badly for MJF to get a near fall and for the crowd to gasp that there's the small chance that Wardlow could lose this match. And then I would have been fine with the rest of what they did, but I sort of feel like I wanted that moment and I didn't get it. Yeah. And, well, and it was funny. The one near fall that we did get and the crowd popped big was Wardlow putting his foot on MJF after what, like four power bombs. Yeah. And then being like, no, 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 we're going to keep doing this. And the crowd loved that. But yeah, this was, uh, I thought it was, like I said, it was perfect to your point. It would have been foolish about like five stars and whatever. And like, yeah, you know, people hear star ratings, they think of a certain style match. Yeah. You know, that yeah. gets high star ratings. This would have been foolish to try to do that. Uh, that, that kind of match. This was, it, you want to put Wardlow over strong. And what interests me moving forward here, I know everyone's going to be talking about MJF's future in the promotion, but what about Wardlow? Yes. Now that he is, that was going to be my next question. He's unchained from MJF, and this can go a couple different ways. Sometimes, you know, when you've got the baby face that breaks away from, you know, the guy who is mistreating him, it's great. And sometimes the heat's gone. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I think it would be horrible of me to compare Wardlow to, like, Virgil. You know, that's not <laughs> fair. But, like, right? Like, as soon as Virgil stopped being with Teddy Biasi, I was like, all right, you stink. Like, okay, like, here, here, here's something. But, but here's teams, what... Here's Batista's what I always think. the one that I would compare him to. But here's the other thing that I always think about when it comes to something like this. Now, the odds and the stakes weren't as high for this match. But you remember when Shawn Michaels beat Bret Hart for the title at WrestleMania 12. Mm -hmm. Bret was taking time off. And Bret, when on leaving, basically said, okay, now we'll see how you do without me kind of thing, right? That was kind of his his thing. And I sort of wonder how Wardlow will do without MJF because the reason why this was so successful is I don't know if it's 50 50 or 60 40, but MJF is a giant part of this. And so now you have this Goldberg like character and now we see what's next. And, and I'm very interested to see what's next. This is, this is it's not a hundred percent that this guy stays over. As he was over going into this match, I mean, it's not it's not a given. They 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 have work to do. No, I mean, you have to come up with something that is interesting. I mean, this is a real, you know, high end take here. You have to come up with something that's interesting for moving <laughs> yeah. forward. You, just, you know, I think just him squashing random people every week that you know aren't MJF. 
may get old, but we shall see. I don't know. I mean, I think the TNT title's out there for him if they want to do that. I don't know if Tony would want a wrestler like that who does short matches as his TNT champion. I've always liked Dave's idea about Brian Danielson, right. personally. But, you know, you talked about Sean Brett earlier at WrestleMania 12. I think what makes this dynamic different than that one, let's not kid ourselves, Brett wanted Sean to fail in 1996. Sure. Like, he left sure. because he, like, you know... Um, I don't think MJF, no matter what his standing is with AEW right now, wants Wardlow to fail. Maybe he does. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, that, that would su surprise me a little bit because, I mean, he was a total pro, you know, to my earlier point about, oh, I feel so bad for Wardlow if this guy would no-show the pay-per-view. He showed up and did exactly what he needed to do. Took 10 uh, friggin' power bombs. Yeah. Jeez. The, the comparison that I make, and I, I, I kind of tried to blurt it out there, was Batista. Because Batista, when they had him turn on Triple H... You know, five, that was like so good. Yep. And they did, what, three matches on pay-per-view, including Mania. The third one that was in the cell was great. And then Batista got traded to SmackDown not long after, and he sort of floundered. That Like his peak was the Triple H feud. He never got to that height again. Now part of that was they clearly swapped him and Cena in the pecking order in that draft. Uh, but yeah, and we shall see. And I think he finally sort of figured out how to be a heel right as he was on his way out. Like, that was some of the best Batista was right yes. before he left. Yeah, like, as a baby face from, you know, the, the SmackDown locker room didn't like him. I think that was, like, remember he got in that fight with Booker T? Yeah. At doing a commercial or something. You're right. He got, he, got, he got very big, very fast. Yeah, but his you're right. His best work post that feud with Triple H that I mentioned was at the end when he was a heel. Yeah, for sure. And Wardlow should not turn heel. Make no mistake about it. And then, you know, one of, one of the commenters thinks that Wardlow's the, the reason for it. And and he he very may well, but he very, may, I don't know if you can do Bill Goldberg in 2022, um, because I don't imagine that Bill Goldberg version of, of Wardlow is in the sort of the plans of, of where things are going. But I, I'm, this is not to say that, that Wardlow is not a big part of this either. I, ju I just worry about it a little bit. No, I, I mean, at the same time, if you want to be optimistic, you could make a case that other than CM Punk, he's the top baby face on the roster right now. Yeah. And he's probably feeling good, but it, I'm very interested to see what direction they go with him. And they should give him more pigs as a theme, by the way. Because <laughs> now that he's a contract wrestler, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay.